market operators and public institutions evenly contributing to uh, develop the new transparency here in the European energy market? Can you really see the progress right now in Europe? Well, what I can say is the following, is that in fact it is, this is a process, a process in which all of us, I mean not only the stakeholders but also the government, the regulators contribute to this. And uh, my impression is that more and more we, uh, some principles of the market is, uh, is going on and, the, and the, our effort continues. Uh, in contemporarily the transparency is coming and it is a prerequisite for, for the real market, for the real competition, for the benefit of the, the customer, the consumers. It is what we as regulators also protect. My question is, um, the 2011, right now we can close 2011, can we say that through the regulation on uh, transparency and uh, the, through the remit regulation, can we say that 2011 was a breakthrough for uh, European energy markets? I think it will eventually be a breakthrough. Of course, this is not yet implemented, so we'll still have to wait a little bit. But I think it will bring much needed transparency to energy markets and the transparency will also bring more confidence for all market participants. Uh, and I think this is uh, quite important because the trading, energy trading area has been somewhat neglected in the, the package uh, and therefore it was really an urgent need to do something about this transparency and I'm glad that we were able together with the industry, who very much supported that, the energy industry, to have a tailor-made solution for energy rather than uh, trying to have sort of one solution for all the commodities which we, would, we found would not be very suitable. So here, for once, there is a very high degree of uh, sort of coherent uh, support for this uh, remit from the energy traders, uh, from energy producers, and from regulators and legislators. So given that broad support, we are hoping for a, I would say, relatively easy and quick implementation because there's not a resistance that needs to be overcome. So we just close 2011 and we can think about 2012. So what should be the main priority, Mr. Kindler, to uh, to increase the transparency in 2012? You know, we, we need uh, to implement it. And uh, we should um, um, decide on the concrete uh, procedures. Uh, so far, we have outlined the principle, but uh, this has to, to, to be filled in and uh, uh, worked out and uh, it will will uh, take um, uh, a lot uh, and create a lot of activities, very strong activities and uh, we are uh, climbing, we are continue, continuing to, to climb on, on the learning curve. What does the Energy Transparency Award mean to you as CER? Just a short comment from all of you. Sorry, starting with Korea. Well, for me, it represented the recognition of what we are doing. Our institution uh, is, saying, in my view, is still young. Uh, even if we started with the, really the first liberalization, uh, the beginning. Uh, and so having been recognized by a committee of experts, of professors, of academics, the, all the effort we are doing on the transparency with our own activities is really uh, satisfactory for, for all of us. And it's also a push for um, uh, continue our job and, uh, and our efforts as we are doing for the time being. Thank you very much, Mr. Waltz. Well, I think it gives <clears throat> more visibility to the work of regulators and <clears throat> it's a, a symbol for uh, the success that we can achieve if we have a, a very high degree of good cooperation with the industry and the legislator and the commission uh, and therefore I think it's a sort of a common uh, it, it's a word that in a way we all share who have contributed to this common activity uh, and in that respect I think it's nice to have it and it's uh, very much appreciated by us. Thank you. Mr. Kindler. Of course, I'm, I'm also proud uh, of my very young team uh, which has uh, achieved an enormous uh, performance in a very short time. But uh, the most important thing is, you know, um, we as regulators, we have managed to create a sound balance uh, between um, liberalism and control. Regulators are often um, are often uh, criticized to, to um, over-regulate. 
and uh, according to the market and according to the Commission, we have just found the right balance and I'm thinking we could uh, be a little bit proud of that. Thank you very much. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Have a nice evening and see you Thank next you. year. Thank you.